Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So happy you can show up. Thank you. Um, I'm kind of awkward with small talk. In all reality, I am very awkward. Um, I want to thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, watching the videos, viewing, you know, and even if you don't like, you know, at least you marked it. So I like that too. That's awesome. Helps me to get out there a little bit. I appreciate it. Um, we're here tonight to do a view on the Creator. Um, he had, you know, there's something uh, the Creator wants to say. And so I thought, okay, well, let's do it. And it's been on me for about an hour now to do it. I was going to wait till tomorrow, but no, no, no. The creator never waits. says he's always busy. I hope you guys are doing awesome this evening. I love y'all. Grateful to be a part of your life. So I hope you guys had some interesting things happening in your life today. Oh, I did. I decided today that I think I want some chickens. Uh, some A couple pet chickens that lay real pretty colored eggs. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a weird one, but, um, you know, I like baby things, little things that are babies. They're so cute, you know, in the springtime, you could uh, sell the little chickies to little kids for Easter or whatnot and make sure, you know, they're labeled as pet chicken so that everybody knows, you know, you've got to take them home and take care of them. But uh, I think chickens would be fun, and not only that, it's a natural way to keep the pestilence down in your yard. And you can actually get cages that you can pick up and move along your yard so that they have an opportunity to be in a new place every day, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so we're going to um, put a card here for the creator. You know, I just want to talk about things that are awesome going on around the world because we know everything that's happening, but we also know that if we focus on that, it will only make things worse. We need to believe with hope and faith that these things will wash away and wash out as we evolve into a greater, higher state of humanity. And, um, you know... Um, People will just see the natural way to be. And we're getting to a place now where we're all standing and saying, you know, we don't want the war. We don't want to have to work 12 hours a day to pay our bills. You know, people are beginning to realize that this is not the world they want. And they're also beginning to realize that if we want to change this world, it, it starts right at home. We have to start at home. We have to change ourselves, how we think, and how we feel about ourselves. And we also have to understand of our value. And our value is, is that we're as much a part of nature as any other animal on this planet. And we deserve to eat, to have a home, to have medical and an education, because that's how the natural way a human lives. That's how we live. And so these things are just something that's natural and should be provided for without us having to work so hard for them. Okay. And we pray, you know, over the whole planet and over all people that um, their hearts will see and understand that the only way we can ever have peace is that we have to work these relationships out. There can't be all that fighting and stuff. We, we don't want war. Why? Why? It's, it's barbaric. It's inhumane. It's in, it's not even like, where the hell, who created that shit, man? Where'd that come from? War. You know, let's go in and kill everybody and take their land. That's horrible. Horrible. And that's why we need to watch out for population control. I know that a lot of people could get upset for me saying this, but in all actuality, we really need to have sex education in our schools to make sure 
you know, people know what is going on in their biological system and that they are prepared when the changes come and they have the desires that they're going to have no matter what because we're all human and we all kind of follow a certain nature as we age through time. And uh, we need to really be aware of our young people and help them understand, right? Okay, let's see what the Creator has to say. I love you guys. Namaste. Mm. The Creator says it's a heavy burden. This is uh, Saturn in Sagittarius. And I knew that as soon as it turned over. Um, creator says the population of the people are carrying a heavy burden. You know, 99% of the people, well, probably not 99, but 90% of the people carry these burdens of paying the bills and, you know, making sure the kids get to college and buying homes and, you know, paying off the mortgage and groceries and you name it. That That's a big burden, right? Yeah, it is. No time to be intimate, meaning, you know, have a deep conversation with the wife and, you know, family time with the kids and the wife and a lot of relationships go belly up over this world uh, male and female both trying to make the money to put the food on the table and make sure the house and roof over their head and college and all that and it is, it is not easy and so I know God is you know, maybe burdened as well with all of it and needing, you know, waiting for the people to see that the resources of this earth belong to us all. Right? Okay, I'm going to use the diet deck. But, yeah, that's, that's the way I see it, that the resources of this planet belong to us all. And I'll tell you why. Because our ancestors built this world. Our ancestors built this world. Ace of Air. Two of Wands. Choices. Plenty of resources. Plenty. Okay, what's this burden about? And of course, you know, I worry for the people all the time and their children not having enough time together. My life at this point is good. I don't have to work hard. Uh, I have a really, really low rent and I'm very blessed. Very blessed. Most people could never believe, you know, how blessed I got over these last two, three years. And I am so grateful uh, for that and the time I get to spend uh, just piddling around the house and the yard and now spending time with my children and my grandchildren. Um, it's pretty amazing. And I would love to see everybody have that opportunity to not have to work so hard, to have time to spend with family and children. The main, a new path. That's what comes to me immediately, is a new path, a new beginning in life. To enjoy and stop to smell the roses. <laughs> yeah, enjoy, to stop, enjoy life and smell the roses. To how much time of your day do you get out of life? You know, that's a good way to think of it. How many hours a day belong to you? Or do all your hours belong to others? If all your hours belong to others, then you need to pull one or two hours back a day for you to re-energize, to restore, to rethink. Yeah, everybody needs a little time. 
can't give all your hours away. So God says, the Creator says, we need to find new paths. We're looking for new paths. We are evolving as children and growing up. Like we are, if you think about it, we have been in the process of growing up over the last 40,000 years, 30,000 years. It was only within the last 50,000 years that we come out of the cave. You know, probably completely out of the caves. I mean, I don't know, but, you know, that process between 50 and 30,000 years ago when we were, you know, all of a sudden creating settlements and governments and cultivation and writing and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. And that was a new era for mankind. And then, you know, a lot of stuff happened in Egypt that we don't have all the facts to, but it seems like ever so many thousand years, there's a new era, a new evolution for mankind. And we are now in the process of a new evolution. Six of fire. Is that a six or a four? Six of fire. We're all healing we're all meditating. We're all working on our boundaries. We're all looking within. And that's what this, this, this represents. This is what God wants us all to do. To think about what kind of life would make, your ha make you happy. And then start speaking that life. Start thinking about that life. And start feeling as though you deserve that life. Because you do. You do, you deserve a life where all your basic needs are covered, right? And and you have time to spend with family, time to spend with yourself, time to spend with the wife, right? That's what you're here for, correct? Yeah. Planting those seeds for the future, bonds, growing children, Growing intimacy with your wife, making bonds, having experiences and emotions that feel wonderful. Planting the seeds of your life with your family. And I hope you guys are getting to spend lots of time with your family and children. Um, you know, they are, family and children are wonderful. I love all children. I just, I've always loved children and animals, yeah. And, you know, I didn't always like adults, but I have grown to love adults now, too, okay? <laughs> the Counselor, 12, 12 Waters. We see the electric running through those waters, the ethers, the energy, you know, the moon on top of his head. I'll have to read this. This would be, um, the Knight of Cups, very much in love, somewhat of the Holy Grail, right? Loves life, loves himself, loves everything and everyone around him. Yeah, the energy of love and speaking of love, too. Because the blue, and look, the throat chakra is lit up. So let's read from the Gaia Debt book and see what Gaia has to say, Mother Earth, Mother Nature. To me, Gaia is Mother Nature. Uh, Mother Nature incarnate. Or the soul of nature, maybe, twelve water. Okay. There we go. 
everybody uh, puts their cards in different order. Twelve of water, the counselor, empathetic, wise, objective, advice, trustworthy, emotional understanding, clarity, sharing. A time of questions and mixed emotions. Look beyond the words to the emotions. Look beyond the words to the feelings, the emotion, the vibration. Listen, listen, hear. Seek objective counsel, an emotionally complex situation. An opportunity for understanding. Be receptive and not rejecting. Are feelings preventing a resolution? So this 12 of water is all about getting in touch with your feelings. God's really been talking a lot about understanding your emotions and how they make you feel. You know, if it makes you feel good, makes you feel happy, you know those are good feelings. But if sometimes we get annoyed, um, agitated, depressed, angry, frustrated, and we don't even understand why. And it could all be within our emotions. Little things that are hardly noticeable, but they still are with us from the past. Both of these are is a three of uh, water and a five of water. And both of these are of um, past troubles. So we want to let those troubles go because you can't change nothing. You can't change anything. You let those things go and you move forward to the future and to the unknown. You drop all your troubles, take a new path, set up your boundaries, plant your seeds, and then start feeling how you feel before you go further. Thank you, God. Thank you for feelings. Thank you for emotions. Okay. What else would you have us to know, Creator? I'm going to shuffle one more time. Take off the top. This planet has a destiny. This planet is going to be, you know, it's from this planet that we'll see the universe, is what I have been told. God tells me we'll see the universe from this planet, but he will not allow us to take war and conflict as, such as we have here to create other populations to suffer as this planet has suffered throughout, you know, well, just being a part of nature itself probably was hard, but we do know that um, there are a lot of things that have been unfair throughout time. And these are not, you know, something that peoples who are created should have went through. And so as we have worked really, really hard in our evolution, because we would be the first ones to evolve to that point, we would be able to carry that out into space with us as we populate other planets. And of course, that's thousands of years away, but it is, you know, it is a thought. It is a thought. And when we do go through that portal, that's what I'm saying here, out into space, you know, we want to carry peace with us. We want to be a peaceful people that know what they're doing, that know how they feel, that know themselves. Because when you know how you feel, you know who you are, you know what you can do, you know what you're capable of. You understand yourself when you know thyself. That would be, you know, then you move through faith. You feel it. You know you're going to be okay. You understand. And you have faith. Faith, not just not in yourself, but in something bigger, something greater that's pulling you onward and forward and towards something that you don't understand, but you know it's there.
by the verse. And this tells me we need to make we need to make really, really, really good choices for our lives, for our words, for what we speak, what we speak over our lives and what we believe in. What do you believe in? You know, what do you believe? I'm going to read that one. This is, um, you know, number five is for change and somewhat, you know, conflict, chaos. Five of Earth. Easy options, easy money, con conveyance, deception, unnecessary risk, addiction, blame. Avoid easy answers. Think twice about taking risks. Something is not as it seems. Be honest with yourself. You are accountable. We don't want to gamble with another's future. Consider the feelings of others. Look beyond selfish desires and blame. So in this, um, um, God is saying, yeah, we have to be accountable. We can't go through this portal until we hold ourselves accountable to any chaos that we're causing around us, with our family, with, with anything. So you know, or the chaos of war, let's say, because I know most of us get along pretty good in our families, right? We love our families, but this is about the war. We can't take this out. We can't take the chaos, the, the distrust, the disharmony, the confusion, the conflict to other places. We've got to learn how to Learn how to live in peace right here, right now on this planet. And it's happening. It's going to happen. I mean, we're at a stage now where, you know, we have developed and evolved uh, our mind. We have developed and evolved our bodies. We have developed and evolved our emotions. We have developed and evolved our um you know, our, just our overall human physique since they, you know, since we have kept records, uh, intelligence, uh, uh, development, and, you know, we're at a place now where we're pretty, you know, we're getting there, and now we have to evolve spiritually. It's the spiritual evolution now, and man will be complete when he understands his spiritual self. Six of Pentacles. Offerings. But he's all chained up, look. This really kind of, this card here freaks me out, really in a way. So I'm also going to read from this book and then I'm only going to pull one more card. Okay. Six of Pentacles. This was like offering for something, you know, giving to get. Water. Oh, earth is first. Earth is first. Let's see what we got. Six of Earth. Family, community, providence, protection, dependability, responsibility, duty, service, self-sacrifice, and martyrdom. The Six of Earth reminds us of our responsibility and duty to our family, especially the younger members. It asks us to be selfless and to service to those who are in need or dependent on us for love, care, and support. If you have children, it's your responsibility to provide them with a home that is safe and free from potential harm. To provide for their physical and emotional needs, love and shelter them. As a parent, 
to set a good example, to be a role model to those around you. Okay, a role model. He's tied to his family. And he wants to show them, you know, the humility. And, and when you take care of your family is, is a beautiful thing. You know, because we humble ourselves to help those who need it. And it's just a beautiful thing to make those offerings to your family, to your friends, to your to your mother, you know, to your father who are of old age, um, to somebody that's vulnerable, to reach out and and care for them. And we have a whole lot of stuff going on right now where a lot of people, you know, don't believe in that kind of life. But we we here on this planet Earth know that we were made for that kind of life. That we take care of those who are weaker and more vulnerable than we are. You know, we stand up for those who can't stand up for themselves. And we do what we can for those we love to make them happy. Because that's who we are. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card. And this is pretty beautiful here. This is self-sacrifice. You know, it's to sacrifice yourself to take care of your family. But you also got to remember, it, you don't want to go into martyrdom. You don't want to do that because you'll teach that to your children. And you can't always be happy. You're not happy being a martyr. Don't be a martyr. You know, love yourself. Give yourself time, like I said. You know, yes, do everything you can to prove you're, you're a good example and love, uh, but don't be a martyr. And always, always take time for self to recharge and give to your own self as well. Thought. I love this card. Thought. Think. Slow down, enjoy your life. Everybody has that right to have that time to think, slow down, and look in their own oven and see what's cooking. Look within yourself and see how your energy flow is. Look within and see, you know, the things you love and how it makes you feel. You know, a temperature check. Thinking about your life and where you're going, your emotions, your feelings, your plans, and stir up some magic. Speak well over yourself and speak well over others. Bring a more promising day. You know, life is going to be just what you think it is, so... Try to think the best you can for the best, to the best, to the good, and for the good. That's what I said for years, and I couldn't think the best thoughts. I just would say to myself, we're doing this for the good, we're doing it for the good, we're doing it for the good. You know, and um, just remind myself, I had to remind myself, because I never know good. And I know good now. And I knew I had, I knew it was mind over matter. It was how I was raised, how I thought, what I thought of myself. When I began thinking that I deserved a better life, God started giving me a better life. I started getting it. You can't get what you, what you don't feel you deserve because you'll just lose it. You'll lose it. So always keep your thoughts pure, like fire. See her working at her table? Oh, yeah, there's the pentacle. Where's the sword? There's got to be a sword there somewhere. Oh, her mind is the sword. And ain't that the truth, really? Really, we are the elements that are required for the magician's table. Correct? 
Yes, and we are the magicians in this world. And for those of those, those of us who believe that, we know we make magic happen. We make with our thoughts and our heart, right? Right. We bring it into life. Okay. Everybody, I love you guys. Creator of all creation says, Namaste, he loves you, and he sees God in you. Amen. Have a wonderful evening. God bless. Mm -hmm.